Hey, Ken Reed here, your TV Guidance Counselor, with another spooky TV Guidance Counselor short for October. Did you know that Knight Rider takes place in the same cinematic universe as Halloween 3 Season of the Witch? Well, now you do. Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, which came out October 28th, 1982, is by far the best sequel to the Halloween movies and the best idea they had, which was getting away from Michael Myers and just doing an anthology series every single Halloween. However, idiots didn't like it and we never got that. Thanks a lot, idiots. Louis the 16th. Louis the 14th, buddy. Louis XVI was beheaded for what they said was his tyrannical treatment of his subjects. However, Don Post Studios did make a mask specifically for Halloween 3, this pumpkin here. Now, the Skull and the Witch were existing masks. However, the pumpkin was exclusively for Halloween 3, and it only exists in Halloween 3, although now there's really cool recreations from things like Trick or Treat Studios. October 30th, 1984, we get the Knight Rider episode Halloween Night, in which Michael Knight goes to some sort of weird hellfire sex club Halloween party. Norman? Have you seen Bonnie? This, she was over there. Look, we gotta find her. Norman? Norman? In order to defeat some terrorist the, uh, the plot doesn't make any sense. For night! Kim, pick me up outside Devin's office. Where is the kid? He's headed south on Jefferson. I want that guy. Michael Knight never sees the Silver Shamrock commercial. We don't know if snakes and shit come out of his head at some point. <laughs> but that would be kind of cool. However, it is only existing in the Halloween 3 universe. And yes, I know it was just someone at Universal Studios studios who pulled something out of a warehouse because they needed a mask and they're not connected. However, imagine how great it would be if Michael Knight fought evil Irishmen in Kit. Write that fanfiction, perverts. Enjoy.